Hi, this is Jason Filler with the Daily Force Report for April 6th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair moved higher today, did close up. Uh, we are expecting this pair to move potentially as high as 102.20, possibly as low as 99.29. Look for some resistance around 101.50 and look for some support around 100.35 in this particular pair. We do believe that this pair is moving higher and that it is going to, uh, uh, that it, the bias is to the upside. Now this pair closed uh, down, the Euro USD closed down today. Uh, it did have a very large range uh, for today, but uh, we are expecting it to potentially move as high as 137.10, possibly as low as 132.46. Look for some resistance around 134.62 and look for some support around 1.3350. Now look for this uh, market to move sideways and continue uh, with a bias that is, is sideways as well. Looking at the pound US dollar pair, this pair closed down today after pushing much higher uh, and also had a fairly large range uh, during today's session. We are expecting this pair to potentially move as high as 151.08 and possibly as low as 145.09. Look for some resistance around 148.44 and look for some support around 146.66 in this pair. Uh, this pair has continued to move sideways and the bias is sideways also. Looking at the U.S. Swiss, this pair continues to move sideways. It did close up for this session, but the bias uh, is definitely sideways as well. We are expecting it to potentially move as high as 11500, possibly as low as 11136. Look for some resistance around 114.32 and look for some support around 112.92. Well, that about does it for, for the charts. Um, I do have one thing that I'm looking at and I want to show you all that. It's been, been a pretty quiet uh, session as far as development of new trades, but if you go to the New Zealand US dollar pair, we have a, uh, you place a, a dot here and a dot here. You draw your trend line. There we go, something like that. Uh, you take this pivot pivot high point and draw your line here, um, and that's not gonna be exactly at the right location. Nonetheless, we're looking for a short here. That short is going to be at 0 0.5798, having looking to place a stop loss at 159.02, and looking for an exit at one, one, 0 0.56, 72. Uh, if that hits, that's going to be 126 pip move. We are expecting it to hit that and then move lower uh, during the next session and hit that trend line. If it doesn't, for some reason, make the full, uh, you know, make it all the way down to our trend line during day session, uh, you may want to move your take profit up to where the next number of the trend line is during the next session. Uh, but we should, uh, we are looking for it to hit that point. Well, that about does it for the charts. Uh, we do have the New Zealand, I'm sorry, the Australian uh, Reserve Bank of Australia releasing their rate decision tomorrow at three at uh, 12.30 a.m. Uh, consensus is they're gonna hold rates at 3.25%, uh, and we'll just have to wait and see if that does occur, but they, they are saying that it's gonna hold. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.